Hi everyone, James here from the XIR team. And in today's video, I'm excited to show you how you can find literally any photo in your image library in about two seconds flat using XIR's cutting edge prompt search AI feature. Now, for me, prompt search is the absolute best way to find and retrieve images from my photo library. And that's for three separate reasons. First, Prompt Search AI is incredibly versatile. You can use it to find, say, birthday party photos from years ago, or to grab images of specific wildlife species from a recent trip to Africa, or to retrieve photos that fit a mood or an abstract quality. The sky is the limit here. As I like to say with Prompt Search AI, if you can describe an image, then you can find the image. Second, prompt search is very efficient. In my experience, the results are almost flawless and they're literally returned within seconds. In other words, you search, you instantly get the photos that you're looking for, and then you can move on. There's no waiting around for the program to process your request and you don't have to constantly search and then search again and search again until the technology gets it right. And third, prompt search doesn't require any real work on your part. You don't have to spend time prepping your images in advance with keywords or um, like tags. You just describe the images that you're looking for and then they'll appear. So let's fire up XIR Photo 2024 and let's get started. Okay, so here we are in XIR Photo 2024 with thumbnails of the images that I've previously imported into the program. Now in the upper right hand corner here, you'll see seven different icons, each corresponding to a different XIR photo search tool. The one we're looking for is this one here. When you hover over it, you'll see that it's called find by text prompt. So go ahead and click the icon and you should then see this search box. Now for your average search, all you have to do is type in a description of the image you're looking for into the search field, and then you would click start search here. So if you're a bird photographer and you wanted to grab a photo of a bald eagle to share on social media, you could type bald eagle flying into the search field, hit start search, and then the relevant images appear. As you can see from these examples, the prompt search AI does a really great job of identifying the images that we were looking for. The top results perfectly match my query, and even the remaining results as we get down here, they're near matches. They include, say, eagles perching but not in flight, or birds that are similar to eagles uh, in flight, even if they're not exactly what I searched for. And notice that the search was essentially instant. There was no real delay. I typed in my description and then I immediately had the images that I wanted. Now, let's head back to the prompt search tool. I'll just click the icon here and it'll appear. And let's enter another prompt. This time, I'm going to search for the president of the United States. Now, here's the important thing. I don't actually have a photo of an American president in my catalog. And prompt search, it finds the images that you have, but it doesn't actually pull from some external database. It's about the images you have in your catalog. So I don't have a president, but prompt search's understanding is so far reaching that even if you don't have the image you describe, XIR gives you associated images. So if I hit start search here, I don't get a president, but I get an eagle because they're in the presidential seal. And then I also get a close up of an American flag here. If I happen to have a photo of a famous American president, XIR would have returned that first. But since I don't, this is what I get. Okay, so let's Look at another example here. This time, let's search for photos with people. 
So maybe you want to find an image of you and your dog for, say, a family photo book. You remember that you've taken a photo, but you can't remember where it's located. So you type person and dog playing, and then you hit start search here. Again, Xire's technology has done a great job of finding the images that we're looking for. The top result matches my query exactly, and then the other results are still pretty relevant. People with dogs, dogs playing together maybe, and so on. So now let's head back to the prompt search tool once again, but this time let's try something different, a more abstract search. You see, one of the amazing things about Xire's prompt search feature is that it can identify images using abstract terms, such as love or sadness or relaxation. These aren't necessarily terms that you'd use when keywording an image because they represent emotions or more abstract concepts, but they work great when used with prompt search AI. So say you want to make a print for your living room and you know you want the image to feature something calm and relaxing. You could just search peaceful, hit start search and see what you get. As we've seen over and over, prompt search is really just very accurate and it's accurate here again too. Uh, these images all convey a sense of peace or tranquility. But what happens if you're not getting the results that you want. Maybe you feel like the results are too narrow. Xire is returning things that are, are just too specific. You know that there were other photos that matched the search, but you're just not seeing them. Or say you don't want to search your entire database of photos. You just want to find images from a specific collection. That's when you can use the customization tools. So here if we click on the find by text prompt icon, and then we go here. This, this settings icon gives you this pop-up box. Now, first, let me draw your attention to the distance limit here. This refers to how closely the resulting images correspond to your search. If you push the slider to the left towards strict, then the program is only going to return images that are very closely aligned with your search terms. But then if you push the slider all the way to the right toward loose, your results will be a lot more mixed. So if you're searching for an image and you're not seeing the results you want, you can always try loosening the distance limit. So pushing it to the right here, the slider, then trying again. So check out what happens when I set the distance limit to its strictest value, and then I search relaxing at the beach. As you can see, the images work, but I only have a few results. But then if I try again, and this time I set the distance limit to a far looser value. Let's start search here. And I get far more results. Now you also have the option to change the maximum number of images that the search returns. Normally, I like to leave it at 100, but there are times where it can be helpful to increase it. So here's the maximum number of displayed search results. And say you want a photo of a flower for sharing on social media, but you're not sure which photo you want to share. Then you might tell the prompt search not to display the default number, which is 100. Uh, instead, you might tell it to display uh, 200 or 500 or 1,000. I mean, technically, you can you can go up quite far if you want to. And then when you start your search, you can browse through dozens or hundreds uh, or thousands of flower photos until you find the one that you like. But just bear in mind that depending on your catalog, Xire may not return the maximum number of images that you've 
told it to. If you only have five flower images in your catalog, but you set the maximum to a thousand and type flower into the prompt search, you're not going to get a thousand flower photos. This is the maximum number, but it's not necessarily what you'll end up with. Now, finally, let me just reset this and I'll bring this back down. So, note the options on the right hand side of the dialog box here. Now, here you can specify where you'd like to search within your database. By default, the Prompt Search AI searches through your entire photo library, but you can choose to narrow this to the current view if you want to, which is just the current set of images displayed within Xire uh, on the main screen, or you can set it to search through specific folders or collections. Now, personally, I almost always search within the whole database, but if you know that an image exists within a specific folder or a collection, you can always adjust this to target the image more precisely. So if you know that you want a photo of a poppy flower with a bee that's in your collection of flower images here, you could just go ahead, choose fo folders and collections like I just did, then choose the collection that has the images that I might be looking for, or the image that I might be looking for, and then just hit done. I'll click OK. I'm going to describe the image and then just hit start search. And there you go. I found uh, the image that I was looking for, came up exactly as I wanted it to. Um, and the targeting allowed me to point Xire in the right direction. Finally, one of the really cool things about Xire is that the search tools don't have to be used in isolation. Instead, you can combine multiple tools for more flexibility and precision when you're searching. So say I'm looking for an image of a specific kind of street landscape. I could start with, instead of the prompt search tool, this find by keyword search tool in the upper right hand corner. And then I might choose, this is based on the, the keywords that Xire has automatically added. So I might choose place, outdoor, and then we have street. Previously I had mountains here, so I'll get rid of that. But so I'm going to make sure that the maximum number of displayed search results is fairly high, that I'm searching the whole database. And then I'm going to search. And I get a lot of different images of, of streets, of open roads, of, of all sorts of scenes that include streets and roads. But maybe I want something more specific. I want a nice street sunset scene one that's out in the country. So I come back to the prompt search tool, the find by text prompt. And then here, I don't want to search the whole catalog. Instead, I have it set here because this was, I had previously demonstrated this, but I don't want this either. I want the current view. I want to search through the images that my keyword search returned previously. I only want to filter through those images. So then if I say, okay, and I type in open road at sunset and click start search, Xire is only searching through the current view, those images that I had already returned. And I think the results are perfect. I get exactly what I wanted. And um, I'm, I'm really happy that combining these tools rather than just using one in isolation helped me really precisely and flexibly target what I was looking for. Hopefully, you can now see just how effective Xire's Prompt Search AI feature actually is and how easy it is to use. 
With prompt search, you don't have to spend long minutes or even hours searching through photos. You just type in a description and the image appears. So go ahead and try it out for yourself. Just spend a few minutes, you know, searching for different images in your catalog and see what you think. Once you start, you may never want to go back. So from all of us here at Axire, thank you so much and happy photographing.